Kasuga-kun. Follow me. So, who's the guy you wanted me to meet? An old friend of yours. He... prefers to meet with you alone, if that's possible. I don't get it. Did he rescue you? More or less. Thing is, he's with the only Alliance. What's his name? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me. Guess I'll have to ask him myself. Pretty much. <sighs> it's been a while, Aniki. Mitsu. Holy shit! Mitsu! You're okay! I don't know if okay is the right word. <laughs> but I seem to be doing better than you, at least. What's going on, man? I never caught up with you after I got out of prison. Have you seen Arakawa-san recently? Nah. Us peons hardly ever see him these days. So I've heard. <sighs> Not happy about that myself. Even though we're Omi Alliance now, inside, I'm still Arakawa. Ah, uh, so you're Omi too. Yeah. I had to rescue Zhao in secret. If they find out, I'll be executed. Doesn't that mean you shouldn't be talking to me? It does. But I had to say one thing to you. I can't say much else, but you need to know. What? Arakawa-san? He's about to go all in with his next gamble. When that happens, you'll need strong allies. M more than he's already got? Uh, I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Mitsu. I'll be in touch. So what's going to happen to the Yokohama Liumang? Damn, going straight for the jugular, huh? Obviously, Mabuchi's ruined everything. The Great Wall is full of holes now. If the Omi decide to invade, it'll crumble. Is there any hope? I don't know. But if we don't patch up the wall, it's all over. And with me like this... Man, it hurts just looking at that. Hurts having it. That's why I'm thinking of stepping down. Huh? It doesn't matter so much who the boss of the Liu Mong is. In the end, the only thing that really matters is whether my men have a place to call home. You get it? Yeah. I know the Liu Mong origin story. Ah. Then you know why we formed in the first place. I don't know if I can keep us going anymore. I was never that great at it. I like my father. But who's the next leader gonna be if you step down? I have someone in mind. Someone who's tough, bold. Friend of yours, actually. What? Who? Song Hui san. Song Hui? You'd give the Lu Mong to the Komi Jewel? Yeah, I know. Up to now, the two factions have been like oil and water. But the world's changing. Walls are crumbling. If we don't start banding together, none of us will survive. <sighs> Not everyone will accept the merger, of course. I'm sure we'll lose members. But that hasn't changed the overall situation for the E-Gene 3. It's join or die. Yeah. I think I see what you're saying. Do you? You figure Song Hui will keep the Liu Mong from going extinct. Meanwhile, the Komi Jewel will get a new home. So both your people and her people will be better off. Everyone's a big, happy family. Well, you don't have to put it like that exactly. Soft, sweetheart terms and shit. <laughs> yeah, I do. You're a good guy with a big ol' heart. I kinda figured. Do we really have to do this? 
I can't be that annoyed with you. The Gene 3 do owe you a lot. The Seiryu clan's probably singing anthems about you. Yeah, speaking of, I think I'll visit the chairman and see how grateful he really is. Sounds like you plan on making a big request. But I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. There's just something I want to ask him. I think you'll be willing to talk about more secret shit now, don't you think? He should. We all owe you big time. Uh, you sure don't hesitate to cash in on favors. <laughs> well, give my regards to him when you see him. You may enter. Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk? I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30 percent of our men defected to the Omi. And the ones who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> You just know everything, huh? Not everything. 
But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually, the Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's gonna try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> Dissolve Parliament? At a time like this? That's insane! Prime Minister, I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo-sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two-thirds of the seats, minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' Liberal Party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your... personal political goals forward. Oh. Tell me, do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? We don't want it breaking up for lack of support from Ogi Kubo-sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo Sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? <sighs> Aoki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power, vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Kasuga, I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence, is that you ended up in Ijinjo. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Yeah. Uh, didn't... Didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? Yes. Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. 
Arakawa's son? No, he... He's the one who shot me. Yes, I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well, then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say, but I do know that he means business. He wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman, how exactly do you know Arakawa-san? <laughs> well, that's a long story. And there's a much better place than here to tell it. Aeon Tower. Aeon Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <sighs> <laughs> he sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. <laughs>